In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to do the incline close grip variation of the Smith Machine bench press. What we're going to be doing is going through the setup and also how to execute the exercise. The incline combined with the close grip means that most, if not all of the tension is going to be on the tricep. There will still be a little bit on the pecs as well. So for me, I've set this up in the right position. However, there's a couple of moving parts that we need to get right to make sure the setup's right. So when I have clients of all different shapes and sizes on the Smith machine, and we're doing this exercise, of course, all of them are in slightly different positions because they're different wingspans, different heights. What I'm looking to do firstly is put the bench in the middle of the Smith machine. I'm then gonna bring the bench into an incline. So that simply means having the end of the bench here higher than the seat height, so like so. I can then do that via this little lever here. I pull it back and I can bring myself into a more shallow incline or a higher incline as well. So once I've got that, I wanna set up the bar in a position where if you think about the arms being straight when you're laying down, you don't wanna be reaching to unlock the bar, so you don't wanna be bringing your shoulders forwards. So this position, I would want the bar to be unhooked with a slight bend in the elbow. When I come all the way back, I wanna bring my elbows into my sides, then from that position, unlock the bar, come all the way down and back up. And what I'm looking for is nipple line. So for me there, straight away, I know that I need to bring this bench a little bit back because I was more at the top of the chest. So I want that bar, when I bring it down, to be in line with nipple line. And again, elbows tucked into the sides and you're pushing from that tucked in position. When you're coming down, you're breathing in. And when you're coming out of the movement, you're breathing out as well. So in on the way down. And when you're pushing up, breathing out. Once you're done, you place your wrists back and that will hook the bar into position. What you notice there, hopefully, if you're eagle-eyed, is the bar never went down to my chest. And this is because I've got the safeties on. So the safeties is like my personal spotter. If I'm doing a new weight for the first time, I've set everything up, I'm loading the weights up, and I'm trying a personal best. What I don't want is to have an empty gym or not to be training with somebody and have the barbell here and not be able to push up from that position. This means that if I get stuck, because I've put these safeties just above the height of my chest, I can come down and place the bar on the safeties as opposed to on my chest if I need to get out of the movement. So let's say for example, I had loads of weight on the bar, my hands are nice and narrow, elbows tucked in and from this position, if I couldn't press up, I could simply slide the bench back and come out of the position like so. Once you've done that for your desired amount of sets and repetitions, you have completed your close grip version of the Smith Machine Incline Bench Press with a narrow grip. 